So welcome to the rear seats of the Rolls-Royce Phantom Series 2, new for 2012. Well, partly revised for 2012. This is the extended wheelbase, 350 odd thousand pound Phantom, and it's just had its first revision since 2003. And just, just have a listen, do you hear much? No, nor do I. And that hush and that quiet is one of the reasons that the Phantom has become regarded as arguably the best car in the world. So what have they changed for 2012? Well, in the back here, not very much. I mean, it's still just wonderful. There are three panels on that seat. There used to be five, and it's a slight change in stitching. And that is about all that is different from back here. It is still just a wonderful place to spend time. But pull her over, Andy, and let's see what they've changed elsewhere. Right, so what is new on the outside? Well, fundamentally, not a great deal. There are new headlights at the front. The old round ones have gone, replaced by square LEDs. There is a new bumper at the back, which has fewer things, just gives it a little bum lift, which is quite attractive. But other than that, this is the same Phantom we know and love. It's got an aluminium space frame that is welded by hand. All the paint is put on by hand, and then it's sanded by hand in between each coat. And these little pinstripes, each one takes three hours to paint by hand with a squirrel hair brush, I kid you not. And then when it's all finished, they polish the whole lot for five long hours. So let's see what else has changed. So there's not a lot of difference in here. This dashboard is a little bit flatter and significantly there is a new sat nav system. It's much, much improved on the old one. It's so much better. From a mechanical point of view, the big change is the fact that from the old six-speed automatic, they've moved to an eight-speed auto, which is said to be even smoother than it was before. And, you know what, I think it is smoother. I mean, the old six-speed unit was smooth, but this just makes gear changes imperceptible. I mean, I can't tell what revs the 6.75 litre naturally aspirated V12 is pulling. No idea. It's just a seamless, seamless power delivery, which is wonderful. And although the seats back there are fantastic to be chauffeured in, really beautiful, I don't think there's a better car in the world to be chauffeured around in. The driver's seat has an awful lot to offer as well. No, this car isn't agile. No, it's not delicate. It weighs two and a half tonnes and is six metres long, which is longer than an awful lot of camper vans, but it steers so beautifully. It's so precise and accurate and, and light and responsive and the control weights are all perfect and there's real pleasure to be gained from just piloting it at medium pace down a road and enjoying the hush and the briskness and the, and the quiet and the restraint and the, and the relaxation. It really is a thoroughly relaxing car to drive. Now, so Henry Royce, one of Rolls Royce's founders, one of his philosophies was, take the best you can find and make it better. And I suppose the question here, was it the best in the world and is it improved? You know what? I think there's a very strong case for saying yes on both counts. <laughs>